To go today, Democrats on the Assembly Public Safety Committee blocked a bill seeking to classify child sex trafficking as a serious felony in California. However, they reversed course 48 hours later, voting in favor of it after they received massive pushback and scrutiny. But just when it seemed the bill was all set to go through the legislature, the debate over its future may actually be far from over. Fox 40 Capitol reporter Aton Wallace joining us now live from the state capitol to explain. Aton. Well, Nikki, good evening, and that bill still has quite a ways to go in the legislative process here at the legislature. And as for how to proceed next, well, that answer varies depending on who you speak to. <laughs> Applause last week from Republican lawmakers just after learning SB 14 passed the Assembly Public Safety Committee. The bill seeks to classify human trafficking of anyone under the age of 18 as a serious felony in the state of California and would categorize it under the state's three strikes law for reoffenders. That could lead to increased jail time and penalties for convicted traffickers. When the bill first went before the committee last Tuesday, that bill fails. It did not pass after no Democrats voted in favor of it, but amid immediate widespread spread scrutiny and pushback on social media and even from Democratic leaders, including Governor Gavin Newsom and Speaker Robert Rivas, the committee once again convened 48 hours later to re-vote on it. This time, that measure passes. It passed with bipartisan support. Republicans, including SB 14 author, Bakersfield GOP Senator Shannon Grove, calling the new vote a victory. So what a day for Californians to celebrate. It's good policy. We should make sure children are protected. At the time, Assembly Public Safety Committee Chair Reggie Jones-Sawyer said he changed his vote to support the bill after he met with Grove and got his questions answered. we got to stop these repeat offenders. They cannot get out in one year. we got to just stop it. But just hours later, he tweeted this, writing the bill, quote, needs to be fixed, expressing concern it could lead to victims who may have been forced to cooperate with their traffickers to also end up behind bars. Chairman Jones Sawyer. Over the weekend, during a one-on-one -on -one interview with Inside California Politics co-host Frank Buckley, Jones Sawyer echoed his concerns. The bill was flawed and it was incomplete. He says the only reason he voted in favor of SB 14 in the end was to move it along to the Appropriations Committee where discussions could take place to make changes to the bill, addressing his concerns. What we wanted to do was get this off of a political playground and get it into a policy grade playground where we can actually, actually talk about the things that make this bill better. But during her own interview with Frank, Senator Grove said it's unlikely victims would end up behind bars due to her bill, also mentioning for months she met with Democrats on the Senate side to work on the bill language. That's why she says SB 14 already passed the Senate with unanimous support. As for whether she'll go along with changes Joan Sawyer wants to see. I'd like to see this bill as is in print go to the assembly floor from appropriations and to the governor's desk without amendments. I realize that the three strikes law and people don't want to put people in prison, but the bottom line is, is that there needs to be a carve out. If you can hijack a car and have a serious or violent felony, it should be the same for selling a child. If you sell a child for sex, it should be a serious felony. Okay, so as for the timeline here, well, the Assembly Appropriations Committee is set to take up this bill when lawmakers return from their month-long summer recess in mid-August. Reporting from the state capitol covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.